Hey guys, it's Anna once again and today I'm gonna to talk a little about my latest model. It's the Battlecruiser Kirov, the famous Soviet Battlecruiser built at the end of the Cold War. This is a very interesting model, full of features that I'll show in a few moments. But first of all, let's talk a little about the history of this wonderful design made by the Russians during the Cold War. At the end of the 70s, almost all Soviet surface warships had one main role, and this submarine warfare. This was extremely important to protect the Soviet motherland from ICBMs launched from the American nuclear submarines. However, the American aircraft carriers were still considered a huge threat to the Soviet interests around the world, so they decided to build a large number of aircraft carrier killers. This included the Soviet Many class destroyers, the Slava class cruisers, and of course the Kirov class battle cruisers. The Kirovs are the biggest surface warships currently in the world, not including aircraft carriers. They are nuclear powered and they are extremely powerful. These ships are equipped with the SSN-19 missile, also known as the P-700 granite missile, the biggest anti-ship missile ever carried by a warship. To give you an idea, this uh, weapon is bigger than a Gnat fighter plane, it has a maximum speed of Mach 2.5 and it can carry a 700 kg uh, conventional warhead or a 500 kiloton thermonuclear warhead at more than 500 km away. Compare this to a conventional subsonic harpoon missile. And the Kirov could carry 20 of those uh, missiles on board and launch them in sequence to saturate the defenses of a carrier group. While most Soviet warships were poorly equipped at the time to defend from aerial threats, the Kirov was the opposite. It was the first e ship equipped with a vertical launch system to launch long-range missiles, like the Sa N6 Gramble, the naval variant of the extremely deadly S-300 surface-to-air missile. Two other short-range missile launchers two 100mm main guns on the rear and eight 40mm seals provided increased protection against planes and missiles at shorter ranges. Although not designed to hunt submarines, the ship also carried an SN-14 Silex missile launcher on the front and used a combination of anti-submarine rocket launchers and torpedo tube launchers. It's important to remember that the Kirov became operational in 1980 and the first American Ticonderoga agents a missile cruiser not equipped with vertical missile launchers only appeared six years later, which means that for six years Kirov ruled the oceans. The F-14 fighter plane combined with the A-2 Hawkeye were the only effective system to defend the American carriers from this new threat during that time. A total of four Kirovs were built. Each new ship had improvements over the previous one. The first Kirov was the only completed with two 100mm gun turrets and the SN-14 anti-submarine missile launcher mounted on the front. All following Kirovs had a 150mm gun turret on the rear and don't feature that particular missile launcher. They also have improved anti-aircraft missiles and more modern radars and sensors. Sadly, with the end of the Cold War, only the last ship of the class, Peter the Great, remains operational, but with some improvements. The others were left to rotten and decay over the years. Surprisingly, the Russians recently decided to recover the third Kirov into an improved design with brand new missiles. If all goes well, in 2022, the Russian Navy will operate the Admiral Nakimov, I think that's the name, once again. After that, Peter the Great, the only ship currently in operation, will be modernized as well, so we might still see the Kirov sailing the seas for quite a while. And now let's talk a little about the model. Starting from the front, we have the SN-14 anti-submarine missile launcher. Behind we have the Sign 6 launcher for the anti-aircraft missiles. I use this part in dark grey because it's the only color available. Behind we have the launchers for the shipwreck missiles. We have room for about 20, two for the 20 missiles. This represents one. And I made a small model of the missile here. This one is a mini fixed scale, but I'll, on a smaller scale, it's the one that I had before. 
we have the 40 millimeter seals here and we have the pop-up launchers for the short range OZA launchers so normally they are closed and when they open they are extended and they are like this ready to launch two missiles we have the sensors, the radars, the guiding systems for the missiles and towards the rear we have the two 100mm guns they are they can be elevated and on the rear we have the room for the helicopter and we have a small hangar that we can open and we can store the helicopter inside so it's a welcome feature to help um, keep everything stored in here the model like all my other warship designs can be divided in two to make it easier to store and and to take for the conventions and so on and yeah that's it i hope you guys like it don't forget to visit my flickr page and subscribe thank you and see you next time